The arrival of a new year brings great opportunity to renew our faith and love for God in Jesus. It is also a wonderful time to renew the joy of salvation in our hearts as a new creation in Christ. Therefore, if anyone's in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Whether 2021 brought you success, fulfillment, and joy, or you face grief, setbacks, and struggles, you can look ahead to 2022 with hope. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 tells us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let's end this year with a thankful heart and start the new year with peace and faith. Let us release the bitterness and frustration of the past year. Let us move into the next year knowing that God loves us and wants the best for us. Let's pray that the new year will be focused on healing ourselves through repentance and the renewing of our minds. We were not meant to do life alone. We can bring the light of hope into our own heart, home and world. Romans 12 verse 2 tells us, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Let us pray. I bless the Lord for giving me the privilege to see this new year. I bless the Lord for breakthrough, overcoming and conquering fear, worry. I bless the name of the Lord for keeping me and my household safe throughout this past year. I bless him for giving me good health. I bless him for giving me victory. I bless him for healing me. I bless him for sheltering me. I bless him for forgiving me. I bless him for favoring me. I bless him for saving me. I bless him for favor. I believe that this year of restoration, I will break down all strongholds keeping me from my blessings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I believe that my mouth shall be filled with laughter. I believe that my tongue shall sing songs of joy. I believe that the Lord will do great and mighty things in my life this year of restoration in the name of Jesus. I believe that the Lord will restore my fortunes and all that I have sold with tears I shall reap with songs of joy in the name of Jesus. I believe that all my years of fruitlessness will be transformed into fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that greater is he that dwells in me. The Lord will do great things in my life in this year in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe that throughout this year, my family and I will dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. We will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord is my refuge and my fortress. I believe that the Lord will save me from the fowler's snares and from the deadly pestilence. I believe that the Lord will cover me with his feathers and under his wings I will find refuge in the name of Jesus. I confess that all my brokenness shall be mended by the Lord in this very year in Jesus' name. I confess that the spirit of confusion shall not have power over me and my household. The Lord will teach me and instruct me the way I should go. He will counsel me and watch over me. I confess that Satan will not rule over me. I break the power of sin over me. I am free from the oppression of the power of darkness. The blood of Jesus has set me free. I confess that my light shall shine brightly in the name of Jesus. I confess that the lamp of the wicked around me shall be snuffed out in the name of Jesus. I confess that I shall be restored spiritually, emotionally, socially, physically, financially, mentally, and matrimonially in Jesus' name. I confess that all who oppose my restoration, my breakthrough, and victory will be as nothing and perish. I confess that the Lord will go before me throughout this year. He will level the mountains. He will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. The Lord will give me treasures not hidden. I bound every power of darkness that opposed my restoration this year in the name of Jesus. I bound all evil hosts that may want to gather against my progress and against my family in the name of Jesus. I bound all the spirits of rebellion around my children in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of laziness in my life and my family name in the name of Jesus. I bound the spirit of dryness, of barrenness, and backwardness in my home in the name of Jesus. 
I commend that all anti testimony forces working against my marriage will scatter into pieces in the name of Jesus. I commend that the fire of God be sent into the camp of those gathering to do harm to my marriage and my possession in the name of Jesus. I commend all powers and principalities to take their hands off my marriage and everything that belongs to me in Jesus' name. I commend the collapse of every stronghold in Tower of Babel before my marriage this year in the name of Jesus. I commend that every activity that does not promote the design of God for my marriage this year to collapse in the name of Jesus. I commend that mountain of impossibilities that are facing my marriage to fall in this year restoration in the name of Jesus. I decree the blessing of God over every plan and goal for my children this year. I decree all my children shall be taught of the Lord. I decree my children shall be for signs and wonders. They shall walk in obedience. I decree that every promise of the Lord concerning my children will now fall to the ground, but it shall be literally fulfilled in Jesus' name. I decree that my children will have personal intimate relationship with God, and the fear of the Lord will be evident in their daily walk with God. I decree in Jesus' name that my children will not be the source of affliction, but a testimony to God's grace. I decree none of my children will bring shame to the name of the Lord. I decree that no generational curse shall have any effect upon my children in the name of Jesus. I call forth all my treasures that the enemy have stolen. I receive them this year of restoration in the name of Jesus. I call forth the blessings of the Lord on all my projects this year. I call forth the anointing for creativity in my business and my ministry to follow me powerfully in Jesus' name. I call forth my loss and stolen financial breakthrough in Jesus' name. I call for a breakthrough on my way this year in the name of Jesus. I call for prosperity around my home in Jesus' name. I call for divine wisdom and understanding that brings about success in Jesus' name. I call for shattered dreams, shattered hope be revived and achievable for me in Jesus' name. I call for the spirit of watchfulness and the spirit of alertness in the name of Jesus. I destroy all powers that expand problems and pray that they shall be paralyzed in Jesus' name. I destroy every yoke of Satan coming my way and every evil pronouncement of the wicked people around me in the name of Jesus. I destroy every ungodly covenant I might have been enticed to make in the name of Jesus. I destroy the curse of Balaam's around me in the name of Jesus. I destroy the power of agent of death in my life in the name of Jesus. I destroy the power of the agent of spiritual rags in my life in the name of Jesus. I destroy all the lies of the enemy that say I cannot make it this year in Jesus' name. I destroy every trait of spiritual backwardness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare by faith that Jesus will supply all my need spiritually, financially, physically, emotionally throughout this year. I declare that every aspect of my life will yield abundant fruit in Jesus' name. I declare that I shall be a blessing to the people of God in, in the work of God. I declare that God will enrich my life with the abundance of His joy. I declare that God will shower me with such an abundance of His favor that even the enemy will have to acknowledge it in Jesus' name. I declare that I shall be blessed with supernatural abundance that will bless generations to come in Jesus' name. I declare that the power, the glory, and the kingdom of the living God will come upon every aspect of my life in Jesus' name. I pray that throughout this year, I shall enjoy the favor of God's covenant named Jehovah Rapha. I pray by the strap of Jesus, I have been healed. My body is strong in Jesus' name. I pray that no weapon that is fashioned against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. I pray that every agent of infirmity must lose its hold over my life in the name of Jesus. I pray against any sickness or disease that the enemy may want to use to stop my destiny in Jesus' name. I pray against every genetic disease that has ruled my family for generations in Jesus' name. I pray against every form of torment, whether physical or spiritual, in Jesus' name. I pray that the anointing of God will flow from my life to bring healing, deliverance, and hope to others in the name of Jesus. I pray that throughout this year, every member of my household will receive the healing of the Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus against Satan and declare that I am an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb. I plead the blood of Jesus against deadly pestilence. I plead the blood of Jesus against the terror of night. I plead the blood of Jesus and confess by faith that the angel of death passes over my house. 
I plead the blood of Jesus against every disease and attack of the enemy. I plead the blood of Jesus against any mental, spiritual, and physical imprisonment in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus and declare that throughout this year, I will stand under the blood and Satan cannot touch me. I prophesy that this year will be a year of joy and not of heaviness or sorrow in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that God's protection and grace will abound to me this year in Jesus' name. I prophesy that everything that stood against me in the previous year shall come down in Jesus' name. I prophesy that the new year will bring me rest and peace in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that this new year the right hand of the Lord will strengthen me. I prophesy as I look back throughout the years, I will see reasons to give God praise. I prophesy that nothing shall move me away from the will of God. I prophesy that I will achieve every goal that I set in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that in the new year, my step will be ordered and not hindered in the name of Jesus. I reject my former life of drunkenness and all form of godlessness. I confess that I am a new creation. The old things in my life have gone and the new have come. I am redeemed of the Lord, washed by the blood of the Lamb and saved by His grace. I reject a life of strife and envy in the name of Jesus. I reject any relationship that may drag me into ungodly habits in Jesus' name. I reject the sins of the mouth, sensual sins, malice, and hypocrisy in the name of Jesus. I reject Satan's suggestion that I will not achieve success and confess that in this very year of restoration, I shall walk from minimum to maximum in the name of Jesus. I receive the name of the Lord as my strong tower. I run into it and I am safe. I receive the word of the Lord as the lamp unto my feet. No darkness shall come my way throughout this year in the name of the Lord. I receive faith in the Lord. Mountains shall crumble before me this year. I receive the grace of the Lord. Therefore, special favor will come to me from the east, from west, from the north, and from the south in the name of Jesus. I receive the presence of the Almighty God with me at all times this year. Therefore, Goliaths will fall before me. I receive the Jericho wall destroying power, therefore every stone of hindrance shall be rolled out of my way in Jesus' name. I receive patience, therefore I will not run ahead of God on every issue of my life in the name of Jesus. I receive wisdom from above, therefore I will manage my affair as the Lord wants. I will possess the land that I have lost in the name of Jesus. I will possess supernatural financing to rebuild every broken place. I repossess and inhabit every possession stolen from me. I repossess my job, my health, my business, my marriage in Jesus' name. I repossess my financial breakthroughs. I repossess my victory. I confess that I am delivered from the power of darkness. My battles belong to the Lord. He will fight all my battles throughout this year, and I will triumph over my enemies in the name of Jesus. I repossess my vision. I confess that abundance of new ideas and favors are mine in the name of Jesus. I confess, I proclaim, I declare, I believe, therefore I have spoken, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray.